Hi everybody, this is my review of Quicken 2018, which came out just over a month ago in late October. I've been using it for just over a month since it came out and gone through a couple of bill pay cycles with it. So this is my review of what I think about it and an overview of some of the major features and some of the new features that they've added to it. To learn more about the new subscription model and what that means for you and answer some of your questions, go up to this link right here and you can read all about it. And I also in that article include two alternatives to Quicken if you decide you are ready to try something different. There's now three versions for Mac, four versions for Windows. If you want to see my comparison chart that shows you all the features in each of these versions, you can just go right up here to this link that pops up and look at the chart. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'll start by opening Quicken up here and this is what it looks like as you open it and if you've already set it up you'll, with a password you'll have a file um, that you'll type in your password there so I've created a demonstration file just so that I can show you some of the features of Quicken with actual data in here so when you open up Quicken it usually opens up to either one of your accounts or to this home tab. Uh, for most people I think it opens up to the home tab. So this is what it looks like when you first open it up. It gives you right here an overview of last month's spending. It shows you your income, to year to date income, income versus expenses for the year. If you have a, the business version it shows you your business income for the year. It shows you your current budget and your current net worth all right there on the home screen and then there's another view here that shows you alerts like bills that are coming up due or savings goals that you may have set up uh, it shows you all of the bills that you have scheduled right here it shows you when you last updated so that's that's some of the things on the home tab just really quick I'll talk about some of the things I've noticed with Quicken 2018 some of the positives first I've been using it with about 29 different accounts for my personal use I've noticed that it seems a lot snappier and faster than it has in the past especially the menus and opening reports everything just pops open quickly the reports themselves look a lot nicer they're more customizable you can change the font size and the row height. I'll show you that later on in the overview. Um, you can export reports directly to Excel now, which is a nice feature. In the past, when you would have Quicken open, if you tried to switch Windows to another program in, within Windows, it would kind of lag and there was sometimes Quicken wouldn't display again on the screen. Or if you pressed Alt Tab to switch Windows, it wouldn't work properly. Well, that's been fixed, so that's awesome. If you have problems with downloading your accounts, it seems to handle that better than it has in the past. This was actually the first time in several years that I've been able to update all of my accounts through the one step update without having any problems. Oh, there's a new Quicken Bill screen where you can see all your bills, so I'll show you those things as we go through. Just briefly, if you're a new Quicken user, the accounts list is over here. This shows you all of your accounts and they're sorted by banking accounts, checking and saving, credit card. If you have rental properties, right here. If you have business accounts, they'll be on their, in their own section. If you have investment accounts, and then these are your assets, like a house, a car, etc., and any loans that you might have and then savings goals and then down here it shows you your total net worth or ending balance based on what Quicken knows about you and it will show you your credit score also. Uh, not every feature that I talk about will apply to every version of Quicken so I'll try to point out what applies to the version that, uh, that you're thinking about. So first everything I've talked about so far is for all versions. They're, all of them have the account list and the home screen right here. Then the spending tab. This just goes into all of your spending over the last time period that you decide to choose. You can change the time period right here. It's 
really quick and easy to get an overview of your spending and it shows all the transactions right there this is in all the versions of Quicken you can also do spending without taxes spending with tax categories etc let's go to the bills and income tab this tab has changed this is a new layout so you can see all your bills right here in one nice list and you can sort it either by the the biller or by the due date so that's nice easy to see when things are due how much they are you can change the time frames right here and then you can also show instead of just showing the upcoming bills you can just show them by month so now it's just showing me all the December bills now on income and transfers this shows you all of the money that Quicken knows about that you have coming in like paychecks and things or money that you're getting from rental properties things like that you can change it to a list calendar or monthly list or stack like it started out and then projected balances this is very nice for seeing how much money will be in your account later on next month or next in the next two months or next week so you can do each account that you have or you can do all of your accounts you can do select all and show all of your accounts if you just want to see your checking account you can do that you can do the next week, the next two weeks, 90 days, whatever. And it also shows you all of the scheduled transactions that Quicken knows about. So it can only tell you or it can only project your balances based on the information you give it. So you have to put in any scheduled transactions, any bills that you might have, and then it can calculate what your balances will be. So this is also in every version of Quicken. The planning tab, this is also, most of these are in every version of Quicken. So the budget right here lets you set up a budget so you know what you're spending, how much you're spending on everything. You can do either this graph view or an annual view, which I kind of like better because it shows you everything in one spot. The debt reduction will show you all of your loans, mortgage, etc. and you can come up with a plan to pay them off faster. In this example, my current loans that I have set up in this account would be paid off in about 2043. But with the plan that I set up here, if I pay a little bit extra each month, I can pay them off in 2027 and so that's a nice feature and you can experiment with it right here so this is what it looks like now and if I just move this slider over showing me paying a little bit more each month toward my debts it shows when they'll be paid off and how much I'll save in interest so that's really handy or if you want to do a big lump sum one-time payment right now that also shows you how that changes your your debts and your loans the lifetime planner I think this one is if I remember right in Premier and above um, but check my comparison chart link that should be popping up in the top right corner of the video and you'll be able to see which versions this is included in but the lifetime planner is great for people who want to know if their plan for retirement is going to work out you can go in here and tell it what your current salary is what your retirement assets look like what your investments look like other assets rental properties loans everything living expenses the year that you want to retire and it will figure out if you're gonna have enough money tax center is excellent for projecting what your taxes will be like so throughout the year you can figure out if you're going to owe extra taxes when you go to file your taxes or if you'll be getting a refund back it goes through if you have a paycheck set up in Quicken it will calculate your wages and salaries for the year interest dividend income business income etc all your income all your expenses your exemptions deductions all that stuff and it calculates those based on what you have put into Quicken and you can adjust those values too if you need to so that's very very helpful to make sure you don't get surprises when it's time to file taxes and then savings goals this lets you set money aside you keep it in an account but it, it gets set aside so it doesn't count toward your account balance it gets put into a separate savings goal down here 
So let's say you're saving up for your emergency savings. You're saving for college for one of the kids or for a car. You can set goals up and it will let you know how much you need to put in towards that goal each month to meet it and so on. Now let's we'll skip the investing tab for now and go to property and debt because this one is also in deluxe I believe. So this shows you your net worth over time. The green is all my assets. The red is liabilities or loans. And then the red dots are net worth. That's a nice overview to see how well you're doing over time if your net worth is growing or shrinking, if your debts are growing or shrinking, if your assets are growing or shrinking. And then it tells you where all those are held, whether it's in your your bank accounts, savings, investments, retirement, and so on. The property tab shows you all of your assets if you put them into Quicken. So in this account I added a boat, a truck, a loan that I loaned out to someone, a house, and a rental property house. So this just gives you a nice quick overview of what those look like with their current value and how much you owe on them. And then the debt tab shows you all your current loans, credit cards, and other debt in one tab. So that's also in Deluxe and above. Now the investing tab is where you get into Premier. So Quicken Premier and above has more investing tools so anybody that wants to track their 401ks, IRAs, or other investments, stocks, bonds, brokerage accounts, uh, you typically want to get it Premier or above. This portfolio tab shows you all of your current holdings in all of your accounts. Right In this file I've set up a 401k and a Roth IRA for myself and a spouse with some dummy uh, stocks that I've just put in there. So it's a quick snapshot of your whole portfolio. The portfolio x-ray tool is a Morningstar tool that's integrated with Quicken and it will give you a nice summary of what your weaknesses are based on your asset allocation and different sectors and all that stuff. Um, the performance gives you a nice comparison over time versus some of the major indexes and it shows you right down here what your returns have been for the last one year, three years, five years, and you can customize that. And then your cost basis versus portfolio value. And then the allocations. This is nice because it shows you how your assets are allocated. You can set a target and then it will help you figure out how much to move around to get the right allocation that you want. And the tax optimizer is a new feature this year that helps you figure out how to save taxes on your investments, when to sell, when to take a loss, things like that. Okay, so that's included in Premier and above. Okay, now let's go to the business tab. Instead of a home and business version and a rental property manager version, Quicken combined it into home, business, and rental property. So if you buy that, you get the business and the rental property tools included. The business tools right here, this screen is new, it's a, an updated layout and I think it's a lot nicer than the previous one. So that's new for Quicken 2018. It shows you just a quick snapshot by month of your income, expenses, and your profit loss. So for this dummy Quicken file, I've got a profit loss of $60 in November. So looks like I'm raking in the big bucks. Um, but if you have multiple businesses, you can also track those. So I set up four different businesses just to give you an idea of what that looks like. And then there, I'll just go through some of these different tools. Profit and loss. There's an account overview that shows the different accounts, business accounts, and, and information about those. A great new feature for this year is with the invoices you can customize them to include your company logo, you can change the colors, the fonts, um, you can add and remove different uh, different fields, and then you can include web links, PayPal, so your people that you're uh, invoicing can pay you through PayPal. You can include a Yelp link so they can leave a review for you, a link to the location of your business, your website, your email, that can all be included on the invoice. 
and then you can email the invoice to your customers from right within Quicken. If you want to change the way this invoice looks, you can customize it. And this lets you totally change the layout. I put in a company logo right here. I put in a company address. You can drag and move those things around if you want to to get it just right to wherever you want. You can get rid of things that you don't want to show up on there that may not apply to your business. You can change the names on things. If you don't want to call it an invoice, just change the name. So that's that's nice. And all of these colors can be changed. The fonts can all be changed. And this is all new in 2018. Okay, so let's get back out of invoices. Um, some other tools you can, I'll just show you really quickly. You can have a project job list, estimates, you can print invoices, you can have a list, show a list of unpaid invoices, track business mileage. There's a new small business guidance um, guide included with Quicken that helps small businesses figure out all the important things they need to know financially to get up and running. And then there's different reports here that are very helpful for a business owner to uh, to see what their financial situation is like and how well their business is doing. And then you can create a Schedule C right here to plug into your tax filing when you file your taxes. So that's an overview of the business tools. Let's go to the Rental Property tab. So this is also included in the Home Business and Rental Property version now. And this is really handy if you own rental properties. So I set up a single rental property with one tenant and from the main screen it just shows you the tenant and how much rent is due, how much they've paid. You can see it for different time frames. You can look at your profit and loss of all your rental properties by month. You can look at all of your rental property accounts if you have checking accounts or credit cards set up for rental properties that'll show up here. One of the great new features this year is you can email receipts to your tenants from right within Quicken. So when you receive rent you can enter the rent payment right here and it populates all the information that you've set up and so I just just entered his rent payment for December and then you can email a receipt right here and it will pre-populate it with your information, their information, their email and everything and you can or you can print it out and hand it to them but you can email it from right within Quicken from email to email and there you go so that's a nice feature you can also add new properties, add new tenants and one of the great things I like is you can keep all the information about your rental properties and tenants right within Quicken. So if you have tax documents or uh, leases, deeds, whatever you want, insurance information, you can keep that right here in Quicken. And you can also keep tenant information in Quicken so that you know how to contact them. It has the terms of the rental, how much they paid in a security deposit, any documents, rental documents, pet agreements, etc. You can keep that in Quicken. So that's really great for managing your rental properties. Okay, so now the add-on services. And this this is in every version of Quicken. You can add all of these different services to Quicken. This one usually takes a second to open up because my internet is slow. But you can add Quicken Bill Pay. But like I said in the beginning, this is in Quicken Bill Pay is included for free with Premier and above. So that's $119 a year normally that's included free if you do Premier and above. Premium support. You get priority support if you need to get help from Quicken's customer service. You get a special phone number to call in. 
that is also included for free with premium and above. And then a couple other add-ons that some people like to have. There's a social security optimizer to help you plan that out. Uh, trusted ID credit monitoring, another bill pay thing, a will maker, and Quicken loans. So those are just little add-ons that, that cost extra money. But if you get premium, or excuse me, premier and above, you get Quicken Build Pay and you get premium support included. Now the Mobile and Alerts tab is where you set up uh, if you want to sync your Quicken file with a mobile device, whether it be an iPhone, Android, tablet, whatever. If you want to see all your balances or enter transactions when you're out shopping or out doing whatever, or take pictures of your receipts, you can set up this mobile tab right here and basically all you do is download the mobile app onto your phone put in your Quicken ID and password and then just go to this tab and tell it which accounts you want to include and then this is has been here before tips and tutorials but it's a lot better this year it comes with a lot of links and a lot of information about how to use Quicken how to get started what to do with Quicken how to set up accounts how to set up budgets all the information a new user to Quicken would need to know. This is great for new Quicken users or people who aren't that familiar with Quicken or if you just want to learn more about how to use some of the features in Quicken this is a great tab to get you started. It has all kinds of information there for you. So that's all the tabs here. Now I'll just go briefly into a couple of the tools up here. Uh, one of my favorites is the calendar. It shows you all your transactions that Quicken knows about right here. Everything that's coming up, your bills, your paychecks, anything that you have scheduled in Quicken will show up on the calendar. And there's also an alert center which just shows you uh, any bills that are overdue or savings goals that are overdue, things like that. Or if your account balances get too low it will show you an alert. You can add and customize your own categories if you don't like the categories that are built into Quicken or if you need to add your own categories for tracking your money. You can recategorize something. This is a nice feature if you decide you want to recategorize all of the transactions from a certain person or from a certain payee or a certain bill. You can quickly find them all and recategorize them all the one step update this lets you download your bank accounts your credit card accounts your investment accounts with the click of a button and one nice thing you can do is schedule updates to happen whenever you want to a lot of people will schedule them to update once a week or every day at two o'clock in the morning and then when you open Quicken everything will already be updated you can also, uh, let's see, write and print checks is one that a lot of people like to use that write a lot of checks. You can fill your checks out right here and it will automatically take it out of your checking account and then you can print it out. There's an address book and this is especially handy for businesses or rental uh, property people. And then uh, calculator, quick and bill pay is it, like I said is included with Premier and above and then there's all kinds of reports here just so many reports that will help you figure out what your money situation looks like there's and I'll just show a couple of these reports so you can see what the new ones look like so there's a banking summary you can change you can choose whether you want color I know there you can export it directly to an Excel workbook now. You can save it if you set up a report a certain way. You can change the accounts that are included, the categories, pays, tags, groups. So these are very customizable. And let me show you another report, spending by category. So there's, there's the list version or you can see a graph if you want to see that. And you can change everything about these so that you get a better overview of your finances. A nice one is missing checks. 
It will show you any checks that didn't get entered properly or didn't get downloaded from your bank, didn't get cashed. You can print a reconciliation report. You can see a transaction report of every transaction in Quicken for the year if you want to. Or you can do it by uh, bank account. You can do it by um, category. There's all kinds of things you can do here. So this is really, really helpful for figuring out where your money's going and how better to, to spend and track your money. And then the new toolbar now has better icons. It has color and you can add links or icons for reports here. Like I put three reports that I frequently view right here. So I can just click the button and and view the report right there. So that's one that just shows income and expenses by category for the whole year broken down by month. That's really nice to see so I know how much I'm spending or losing each month and which categories and I can compare them. Uh, the last thing on this help tab is there's a getting started guide. You can sanitize your data file which if you click this it will create a copy of your data file and remove all of your personal information it will remove all of the payee names that way you can send it to Quicken Support if you need help there's a screen share that lets Quicken Support share your screen with you and that's only if you want that to happen so they can help you with setting Quicken up and you can also right here if you click about Quicken it will show you what version you're currently running. It will show you your Quicken ID and when your membership expires. And then one more thing is on the file tab. So you can create as many Quicken files as you want to. Uh, most people use one Quicken file to track all of their personal finances. Some people like to have one for the husband's finances and separate one for the wife's finances or maybe one for the family finances and a separate one for businesses finances or a separate file for one of the kids who are starting to track their own finances. So you can create as many Quicken files as you want and just change between them as needed. You can save a copy of your file, you can set a password, create backups. One note with backups is that new for this year Quicken gives you 5 gigs of Dropbox space. If you already have a Dropbox account that just gets added to your current Dropbox space. You can use it for whatever you want to you can use it for quick and backups if you want or for anything else you want that's included free with quicken all versions this year you can import from other quicken files or from your bank you can import from a csv file for securities you can import a TurboTax file which will help with the tax planner that, that i showed you and from microsoft money you can export your file. You can uh, make a year-end copy, print things. So that's my overview of Quicken. Now to give you my thoughts on it after using it so far. I think I already gave you the new features. Now for the negatives. In the last month that I've been using it, I've had it crash on me a couple times um, where Quicken just suddenly closed with no warning. I clicked a button and it just shut down. I did not lose any data and this is something that's happened in previous quick inversions occasionally so yes that still happens occasionally I've had trouble with one of my accounts um, specifically Capital One that I have always had trouble with in Quicken with um, downloading transactions it worked a little bit better this time with Quicken 2018 but I still did have some trouble with it where it was trying to send me a one-time code and the code never got sent and Quicken ended up freezing so that happens sometimes still and then another account with a different bank I had to reset the account 
in order to get it to download transactions. And Quicken has a, a nice feature that if the account doesn't download properly, it will walk you through the steps to fix it now. So that worked for that account. Otherwise, I am very happy with the newest version of Quicken. It has quite a few new features this year. It, I love that it includes bill pay now and premium support if you get Premier and above. I love the invoices, the ability to customize the invoices if you get the business version, home business and rental property. I love that rental property is now included in the business version so you don't have to go buy a new version of Quicken for that. I love that the reports are you can now export them directly to Excel instead of just to a CSV file or something. It makes wonderful Excel reports which is very useful for more customizing the way that you view your money or look at reports on your money. So I am happy with Quicken 2018 this year. I would say if you're running Quicken 2015 or earlier now is definitely the time to upgrade. If you're running Quicken 2016 I would also upgrade now. If you're running Quicken 2017 and you want any of the new features I talked about, you should upgrade now. But Quicken 2017 will continue working completely functional until April of 2020. So if you're happy with Quicken 2017 and it's still working well for you, then there's no reason to upgrade unless you want to take advantage of some of those new features that I talked about. So right up here in the top right corner, you'll see a link to my Quicken comparison chart so that you can go check out the prices from various places online. I've gone out and found the best prices for each version. So you can compare those and see where the best place is to buy Quicken right now. And you can also compare the different versions to figure out which one you need based on the features that you're looking for. I appreciate you watching. I hope this was helpful. Feel free to leave questions or comments below. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. Take care.